Hello everyone and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to add our PFSense firewall logs to our Elastic Sim. In the last video, we installed an Elastic Sim and we had some agents deployed. If you haven't watched it, please go ahead and go back to my previous videos. But we installed an Elastic Sim and the Elastic Sim seems to be getting some data. So this is what it looks like. Now we need to get, send our firewall logs here. We need to go and say, hey, we have OpenSense firewall how do we add the logs and right here we have some instructions on how we can do it if you're like hey what is that according to our diagram here we have our open sense firewall right at the center that can send some data to kali Pepper elastic seam so we set up the elastic seam last time and today i installed the firewall i haven't en enabled ids and ips suricata on it yet i haven't uh, done any dns or squid i just have a working firewall now I need to send the logs from this firewall to my Elastic Sim. Once the logs are working, we can enable Suricata and some uh, Squid Proxy logs as well. So for now, we'll be following this process. So to install, install PFSense integration, we need to go to Fleet Agent Policies, then Fleet Server Policies. Let's go ahead and see that. So click right here. Scroll all the way down. Here's Fleet. They said, as you can see here, my fleet has uh, two healthy agents. There'll be a third one after I'm done. So go to agent policies, fleet server policy. So it's this one. And we need to add an integration. So when you go there, click add integration and sense for PFSense. So add integration and search for PFSense. Okay, so it tells us like how to set up our PFSense here. As you can see, it will tell us like, hey, in OpenSense, you need to go to system settings, targets, and set this UDP transport. So we'll do that as well. Okay, so right here, we just need to say add PFSense. So we're adding the PFSense policy to our fleet. Instead of naming it PFSense 1, I'll name it OpenSense. Okay, OpenSense, that's my name. Syslog host. I think that's why they said syslog host is zero zero Sys syslog port is 9001 so this just means that we will be listening for syslogs from anyone who sends them our way on port 9001 internal network is private click save and continue this section will update one agent okay there's one agent which is my fleet server itself so save and deploy this will install an integration listening on UDP on port 9001. So we should have a, our policies showing up here. Next, we need to go to configure our OpenSense to send syslog to Kali Purple on port 9001. So let's go to our OpenSense. So here I'm signed into my OpenSense firewall. And we can do system and all that stuff. Where do we need to go? So they're under settings, logging targets. And we do that. So settings. Logging such targets. We need to enable that and click add. Um, transport is UDP. Applications, do we need to select anything here? Uh, all of them. So UDP, all of them. Levels, nothing selected. And we hit save. Okay, there we go. How do I select all? Um, applications or oh, we're going to select all the applications here so we're doing this for testing it's probably not smart to <laughs> check all these but for now we want to see everything we're wondering what does our firewall send to our sim solution we want all these logs including suricata here and squid so when we enable suricata and squid in next videos know that this is where the data will be coming from facilities okay for facilities they left it blank so i'll, I'll leave it blank for now but we might need to come and change here. In the past, I've actually done something here. So for host name, Carly Purple. Okay, let me use my IP address, 172.16.0.15. I just want to make sure, because I don't have my DNS set up yet. So I want to make sure that everything works. So for the port, it's 9001. Description, syslog to Elasticsearch. Let's do that. Okay. 
if I hit save and apply, so we enabled logging here. So according to our instructions, we should now be able to go to our Kali paper and search for pfsense.log and see some data. I have not done this before, I just did this right now. So let's go back to here, discover. Let's change the time instead of today. So we want our data sets to be equals to pfsense.log, I believe. We hit apply. Give it a couple of minutes here for Elastic to ingest. Then we can come back and search for PFSense data. So I'll give it a mi couple of minutes and see if we... Okay, so as you can see, after a little bit, when we change this to logs and we see data stream in search for PFSense, and there we go. We see some data from PFSense right now being sent. And this data looks very close to what they had here. And we just are now ingesting firewall logs. So if we end up enabling Suricata from our PFSense firewall, that data will be coming here, as you can see. So we now have PFSense sending data. And is, if you want to see, here's pfsense.log, uh, network events. Uh, this is a open VPN log actually that's coming in. So let's see if we can actually add a dashboard for PFSense and see what happens. So let's, let's go to dashboards. Visualize library. Let's search for PFSense here. Okay. Here's a PFSense firewall, PFSense DHCP, PFSense Discover. Let's go to the firewall dashboard and see. Because we have to see if this data actually is making it here or not. And look at that. Great, great data. So let me move myself out of the way. I don't know where to go. But my PFSense firewall logs are coming here. And I only have one firewall, so we can select just one here. This is awesome. So as you can see, we can also select the interfaces here, like the VPN interface and things like that. But top destination for my logs here is going to be United States because this firewall doesn't do anything. Let's look at what else we have. The transport, which is interesting. A lot of UDP traffic was we're sending traffic out of the firewall to here using UDP. Here are the actual rules. Firewall country destination heat map and the ports that are commonly seen working, which is amazing. So this is just firewall logs. We're going to have like squid proxy logs and other logs here. But as you can see here, our firewall logs are working and these are coming from PFSense. We actually have things counts of what's blocked or not and this is all in elastic sim using curly paper so if you like this please remember to like and subscribe otherwise in the next videos i'll be showing you even more integrations especially after we add suricata to pfsense things are going to get very interesting quickly so thanks and i hope to see you in the next curly paper video